guys, what's up? As you can tell from the title below, today I will be doing the paint correction on the Subaru today. Alright, so as some of you guys already know, I work at Detail Garage where we only sell Chemical Guy products. So this video, I'm going to put a disclaimer on it right now, is that this video is not sponsored by Chemical Guys or Detail Garage, nor am I sponsored by them either. Alright, so the first thing I'm going to do is wash my car with Clean Slate. So what this is going to do, it's a surface cleanser wash, so it's going to strip away any of the waxes or sealants that the dealership might have put on the car. Um, Um, I also forgot to tell you guys that I do have a turtle in my room, and he likes to move rocks. So, so anyways, getting back to the video. So what Clean Slate does, what Clean Slate does is that it actually, really? This will also help me prep the surface before I clay it, and of course when I jump into my paint correction. I will also be using this Chemical Guys bucket and this dirt trap. Basically what this is going to do is that there's actually pores in it right here to keep all the dirt trapped at the bottom of the bucket so it doesn't catch onto my wash mitt because when it catches onto the microfiber wash mitt it's going to stick to it and then I'm going to end up scratching my car again. For the drying process I'm actually using the Wooly Mammoth uh, microfiber towel. The second step is clay barring it and I'm using our clay lube with the medium clay bar. The reason why I'm using the medium clay bar is because my paint is filled with contaminants and pollutants and it's really rough when you rub the back of your hand against it too and you can hear it and it's pretty nasty. Now with the clay lube it's pretty self-explanatory. This guy I just have to put in a bottle and spray it onto the bar itself and the paint that way I don't scratch it and it doesn't stick. The next step after that, I can finally jump into my paint correction. The machine that I will be using is the Torque 10FX. This guy is a dual action machine, so it's pretty much impossible to burn your paint with it. For the pads, <laughs> I will be using six different kinds. I will be using... So I just wanted to pause real quick. I actually used five pads instead of the six. I took out the microfiber one and just skipped over to the orange cutting pad instead. This is the medium to heavy cutting pad. Next, I will be using the green heavy polishing pad. Next, I will be using the light polishing pad right here. This isn't going to cut into my clear coat, but it will give me a good finish. Now, the two pads that I have right here, they're just finishing pads and they're color coded just so I don't get any of the chemicals mixed up. I'm using for my wax and sealant. And the blue one I'm using for my glaze. To help me find the swirls, I am using the Luxon Swirl Finder flashlight that you see right here. This guy is just a normal flashlight. There really is nothing special about it. To buff off any excess, any compounds, polishes, waxes, anything like that, I am using some of our Happy Ending towels. Now for the compounds, I'm using two different kinds. I'm using the V32 and I'm also using the V34. After I'm done using my compounds, I will be using the V36. This one is a cutting polish and I will be finishing up with the V38. After all that, I will be using the Wet Mirror Finish. This guy will help me fill in any micro swirls that I could have missed. And this has anti-static agents in it, which will help minimize dirt and dust and rain from adhering back onto the paint. After I'm done glazing the car, I'll be using Jet Seal. This is one of my favorite products only because it has hydrophobic properties in it to protect from the rain, dirt, dust from sticking onto the paint. It's also going to give it another layer of protection and it's also going to keep all the work that I've done locked into the paint. Last but not least, I'll be using the Butter Wet Wax. This one is my favorite wax and I love to recommend this because it gives you a deep wet shine, works for any color cars, and it looks like you just have fresh paint. So with that being said, let's go ahead and jump into that paint correction.
that was it for the video. If you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to my channel, leave a like, and leave a comment. I'm trying to be a little different so that I'm not just sticking to strictly just maintenance. For example, maybe a paint correction video that we just did or an interior cleaning or an update video or something like that. Something that's not just mechanical all the time so that you guys don't get bored, I don't get bored. And it's not just sticking to one thing, it's a variety of things. Just want to give a quick shout out to my friend Dylan for helping me out with this paint correction and helping speed up the process because if you weren't here helping me, uh, I'd probably be sitting in the garage for hours. If you guys want to check him out, he does have a 2003 Evo 8. I'll go ahead and leave his name in the description below and right here on the screen. If you guys have any questions about this video, drop a comment. I'll also leave a list of all the products that I used and I'll put a link of where you can get them as well. It's pretty much the Chemical Guys website, but I'll just leave that down below for a quick access. So my camera is about to die and I'm running out of memory. Thank you guys so much for watching and thank you for the support and I'll see you guys on the next one.